Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Irongo Talk. My name is Leandria Lowe and today we join you from the Lagoon Park here in Warfish Bay. Now as usual we bring you the latest news, the weather and tides. For our interview, the co-owners of Namibia Dream Safaris and Tours, Yolanda and Mornay Bover, is going to share a bit about their company and what services they offer. So please don't go anywhere, we'll be right back after this. And now it's time for your news and we kick off with something in Afrikaans. Now the reesachtige Hussab Uran Main, so wat 50 kilometers binnenlands vanaf Swakopmund, wil Uran dier een loog proces van sy laaggraadse oorskoot hoop ontgin. Nou vir die on, vir die verwerking van die laaggraadse erts, dier die voorgestelde hoop loog faciliteit sal 1.9 miljoen kubieke meter water per jaar benodig word, bykomend tot die 8 miljoen kubieke meter wat die hoes op myn tans gebruik. Nou water toevoer word tans met de permanente waterpijpleiding vanaf die C28 voorsien. Hoewel die permanente waterpijpleiding kapasiteit voldoende is vir die hoop loog proces, is dit bykans die volle kapasiteit, sê die myn. Nou die eienaar swak op uranium wil dis een tydelike gebouwde water watervoorsieningspijpleiding behou, nou dit is om uh, um, behou as gebeur, gebeurlijkheidsvoorsiening vir die 20-jarige leeftijd van die voorgestelde hooploogfaciliteit, lees die voorstel van die uitbreiding. Maar geloer gerust geloer af ons webper, dis www.irongo.com.na dis www.irongo.com.na Dan die ministerie van gezondheid en maatschappelijke diensten het nie die immuniseringsveeltog tegen COVID-19 gesop nie. Ek kan die publiek verseker, dit is nie die geval nie. Die ministerie gaan voort om soveel as moendlik mense met die eerste dosis in te end, terwyl die tweede, tweede dosis voor volgende voorraad en stoffe in juli, juli ontvang word, het die gezondheidsminister Dr. Kalumbi Shangula gesê. Volgens hom is dit in oorstemming met die rugleiding van die wereldgezondheidsorganisatie in gevallen van beperkte en stof voorraad. Shangula sê die eerste dosis en stof bied reeds een mate van beskerming ten ernstige ziekte, hospitalisatie en sterfte. Om dus soveel as moendlik mense met die eerste dosis in te eens sal leid tot die beskerming van die groter gedeelte van die bevolking ten ernstige ziekte, hospitalisatie en sterfte. Now, there is reliable information out there about COVID-19, but many sources are deliberately misleading while others bend the truth to get our attention. When misinformation spreads, it becomes hard to contain and every false share can have damaging consequences. For this reason, the public at large is invited to hashtag pledge to pause. That's hashtag pledge to pause today, Wednesday 30 June before posting anything. Now, according to share verified by flooding timelines with a simple message, we can help people stop and think and slow the spread of harmful inf misinformation. Now, everybody knows somebody who shares misleading, emotionally charged or questionable posts. But what if that person was you and you didn't know it? Even the most well-informed, well-intentioned people share posts on social media from sources that may cause more harm than good a statement by share verified read so let us hashtag pledge to pause today on both facebook twitter and on instagram or any other social media sites you can also head on over to our website that's at www.irongo.com.na that's www.irongo.com.na to read all about the latest news that's only happening right here in the irongo region We are joined here by husband and wife, uh, Mornay and uh, Yolandi Bower. Um, how are you, first of all, Mr. Um, Mornay? A good in self, how are you? I'm doing very well. And uh, Yolandi? We cannot complain. We're doing very good, thank you. 
Okay, awesome. I mean, as you can see behind me, there's a lot happening here. We, we have the Namibia Dream Safaris and Tours booking agent. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, uh, uh, like you said, Namibia Dream Safaris and Tours, we're a booking agency uh, trying to organize like tours and uh, safaris throughout Namibia and accommodation and also activities. Uh, we try to get the uh, for example, like the climb, the tourist, and then we arrange like anywhere between a three to a 21 day tour throughout Namibia and uh, organizing car rental and uh, accommodation and safaris. And then obviously once they arrive here at the coast, uh, we also organize some activities for them here at the coast. Awesome. Uh, you guys recently opened here, I think this year. Uh, can you tell us when that was and how was it? Uh, how was the feeling actually opening this uh, business here? Well, the company started a little bit longer, uh, I think it was back in 2015. Okay. Uh, the idea started back then and uh, when we moved to Swakopmund, uh, we decided that uh, maybe we have to try to make it a little bit bigger to uh, get the, the feeling, is it possible that we can see if we can't get like a shop or something like that and uh, in uh, this year in March we open it here and so far we are happy uh, we we thought that maybe with the, the COVID and the lockdown business would not uh, pick up but uh, we are happy so far yeah so it's actually going better than expected yes 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 uh, obviously uh, we would like to, to uh, get a little bit better but uh, we are happy we are grateful that uh, we can still get some clients yeah, well, in. that's awesome but as you can see, we are here at the mall and that's where the business is situated. So Yolandi, can you tell me more about the activity bar? Yeah, sure. So the activity bar is more, we, we compare to uh, MTC having a mobile home. Mm. So we call this activity bar of Namibia Dream Safaris and Tours. And um, what we do is we cater for, is apart from selling the activities and the tours that Mona just mentioned, um, we also do rentals. So we know that a lot of tourists are staying at the hotels like Sarant Hotel, for instance, and um, um, people coming down from, you know, different areas throughout Namibia, they don't always travel with a lot of beach goods and then they come here and then it's a perfect day for the beach and then they struggle to get umbrellas and they have to pay the top dollar to get it and it's always a struggle so we've just saw the need and we decided to fill it so we um, rent out umbrellas we rent out um, towels and you'll see some kids toys here at the back and awesome. we've got bodyboards and we've got cooler boxes <laughs> and everything and we charge phones We've got little locker spaces there for everybody to put their cell phones in a safe place if they want to go swim. So yeah, just um, we just saw the need for, for small little things and we are trying to meet it as, as much as we can. Yeah, that's really great because I mean, if you come to the, to the beach, you do not want to run around for stuff. And uh, gazebos are also very expensive and beach balls, everything, you've got it here. So what hours are you guys uh, open uh, for the people out there? Winter times we open from 9 to 5 and then um, summer times it's from 8 to 6, yes. And uh, what, um, what are your contact details and where can we also find you on social media? Yes, you can find us on Facebook. Um, I'm a little bit challenged with Instagram, I'm not going to lie, that would probably give out my age. Right. But yes, <laughs> Instagram is something. We are on Instagram. Everything but but is guys, she's actually not that old. Huh? <laughs> I'm not that old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so we are on um, Facebook and activi uh, as Activity Bar yeah. Namibia, I think, <laughs> or Activity Bar. Mm -hmm. I think it's Namibia. Yeah, yeah. And also we've got another Facebook page, Namibia Dream Safaris and Tours. And uh, yeah, like she said, uh, Instagram, we're a little bit behind, but we've got some plans for that as well. Yeah. All right. So there's actually also a misconception out there that uh, you pay more uh, when you come to, to um, your agency instead of going directly to uh, an oper tour operator. What, what is that all about? Um, yes, yeah, so there's a common misconception going around that if you book through a booking agency rather than the companies themselves that you pay more. That is not the case. You pay the same price that you would with the operators. The only difference and a huge advantage is that you get uh, an opportunity to support another business to grow and employ more people. So in actual fact, it's um, the same that you would pay. Um, you would just support different people to also have a, um, a career. Yeah. Awesome stuff. So staff members, you have employed um, staff members as well. Can you tell me about that? You've put bread on the table for someone as well. Yes. 
Yes, we do. We have three wonderful little ladies. Well, not little. They're, they're, well, they're grown up, but they're very um, nice ladies that we have working here for us. Um, today we have Nadej. She's lurking there behind the corner. <laughs> We've got Nadej and we have Senya. We can speak Spanish. You see, she's a very. Uh, she's also a tour guide. And then we have Samantha. So three lovely ladies that we work with, all very friendly and knowledgeable. And um, yeah, we are really striving and, and hoping that we would be able to help them grow because each of them have different passions within the tourism industry. And our hope is that we would grow as a company so that we can help them grow and earn more as well. All right. Now to close it off, I'm going to ask both of you for your closing remarks, uh, starting with Mornay. Um, yes, uh, closing remarks. Uh, I uh, just would like to add that we are uh, registered with NTB, the company is registered as a, uh, um, uh, as a uh, booking agency and uh, also to let the people know that uh, our company is uh, also working with registered other companies at NTB and we've also uh, completed our COVID-19 uh, um, um, safety uh, training just to make sure that the, the people that uh, come and visit us and that we help with activities are safe and that they can know that uh, we are doing everything possible to make sure that they are protected uh, when they are on tour with us. Wow. That is really amazing. I mean, we have to really make sure that everyone is safe yeah. during this pandemic. And from your side? Um, I would just like to add with what Monay said, quality is very important to us. Um, good service is very important to us and long-standing relationships are very important to us. Um, people that usually get to know us get to know us for a long while. They become part of our family, so that's very important to us. And we want, like you, to become part of our family too. And um, we always welcome suggestions. We want to ha um, help. Um, there's obviously different needs for different people. And as we grow, we want to make um, the tourism sector not just uh, a great experience for tourists, but for our Namibians as well, because it was the Namibians that really pulled us through this season and we're so grateful for you so we're always open for suggestions and we would like to get to meet you and walk a path with you <laughs> yes it has been a pleasure having uh, Mornay as well as Yulandi Bower here in my company do keep on watching a wronger talk the Onkwediva annual trade fair 2021 brings you exhibition excellence and will be taking place from 26 to 31 August at the Ongwediva Trade Fair Showgrounds. The theme this year is Gearing for a Smart Economy. This year, exhibitors have their option to showcase their products and services at the Ongwediva Trade Fair Showgrounds or virtually via a special trade fair website. Apply for a stand at www.oatf.com.na. Call 065-230-191. Email info at oatf.com.na. The Ongrediva Annual Trade Fair 2021 is proudly sponsored by MTC, FNB, NetBank, Ongrediva Town Council. Well, a very good welcome to everybody that is joining me from the comfort of their seats right now. My name is Anneli Petrus, and we're going to have a session where I'm going to be sharing some business tips with a few startups right here in Namibia. Well, the first thing that comes to a person's mind when you want to start a business is the paranoia of having to write that business plan. Well, a lot of people, traditionally, a business plan usually looks like it's this thick document and it makes a lot of startups very scared because like how do I get to write that whole document? Well, I've got great news for you today because we'll be looking at the business model canvas and it's consisting of nine uh, building blocks and it is not going to be so complicated so I'll just take you through the different steps. Okay. So the first thing that it will include is the value proposition. So the first thing that you have to consider is why is my company going to exist? What is it that I'm going to offer different from what my competitors are, are offering? So this is the add-on, like what is going to be so special about your business? Well, the second thing that you have to consider is the customer segments. Who are your customers? You have to understand who your customer is before you can even think of how you're going to reach them because you need to understand the persona of your customer segments. And then we'll have to look at the channels. How are you going to reach these um, customers? Customer relationships. 
how are you going to retain these customers? Well, if you are aware that retaining a customer, keeping a customer is far more... Um, well, there I get stuck. Yeah. Okay. to go fishing here's your tides and your weather predictions for all the major towns here in the Irongo region Unfortunately, that brings us to the end of today's episode of Irongo Talk. But please head on over to our website. That's at www.irongo.com.na. That's www.irongo.com.na to read all about the latest news that's only happening right here in the Irongo region. You can also follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Or you can get in contact with us at 0811 7040. That's 0811 7040 on both WhatsApp and on Telegram. There is also your go-to number if you want to advertise with us on our online or um, printed media. Let us know what's happening in your town. Send us videos. Send us your concerns. Whatever the case may be to 0811 7040. Now, it's Wednesday. It's officially hump day. The weekend is almost here, so just hang in there. We will see you again tomorrow, but until tomorrow, please keep safe, wear your mask, sanitize your hands, and at all times, practice social distance. So until then, it's goodbye for now. Bye! Yee! <laughs>